Breaking overnight, state police are investigating after a semi crashed into a church in Pennsylvania County. It happened just before 1045 last night. New this morning, we are getting a look at the scene and talk to people who saw the crash. 10 News reporter Coulter Anstead has more. The church here behind me has pretty well been destroyed. If you look over here, you can see the truck that came through. Amazingly, state police say the driver is expected to be OK. He was injured, though, and taken to a local hospital. I spoke to two people who were here in the parking lot when the truck came through, and they narrowly missed getting hit. We heard like a thud sound. And I looked on the side of the church and I saw just some light. So I turned around and then we saw an 18 wheeler coming across the parking lot. Jason Kelly was sitting in his car with his brother Isaac Hudson in front of Open Bible Baptist Church when the driver of this sheet semi truck heading north on Highway 29 blacked out, according to state police. Jason credits God for being alive. I was able to get it in neutral. I thought I was in drive and I, you know, had hit the gas pedal, but it had to be God because I was able to get it down in drive and it took off. While Jason and Isaac and Jason's car were unharmed, the semi smashed into the front of Isaac's car. The car had to be towed away. Isaac described the experience as incredible. When it happened, I was just in shock. Like, I didn't know what to think. It, it, it's, it's just now processing in, like, what, what the heck just happened? Church pastor Tim Kaiser says this is not the first time church property has been damaged by a semi truck. We've had a tractor and trailer take out our major, their big sign. We've been through about four or five addiction signs. We run an addictions program. We've had four or five of those gone. And we've quit counting the mailboxes. He doesn't know where Sunday service will be held now. The driver of the semi has been charged with reckless driving. In Pennsylvania County, Colter Anstat, 10 News, working for you.